One, two, three, four, five, six. I make that a six point turn to get out of this space. That wasn't easy. today only just started and I'm worn out already I had to do multiple turns to get out of the campsite so that was really difficult wasn't it yeah <laughs> slightly stressful <laughs> yeah and then even pulling up out onto the road at the end of the year uh, the hairpin turns. turns is difficult yeah. so we're now setting some traffic which actually is quite uh, unstressful because it's not crazy like it's been for the last five or ten minutes So we've made it to the site, Lake Bracciano or something we think. Here's Katie and there's the lake. I live light as a fool, I travel each and every highway, and more, much more than this, I did it my way. Oh. Enjoy your feelings, Robin. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. Buona pazza, c'è sta una terrazza a Belvedere sotto, si vede là, you speak Italian? No. No. Yeah, let's see the lake, fantastic yeah. uh, square. Oh. Found a perfect stop for uh, drinks and snacks. 
We were going to video from the start, we were so eager. We just tucked into this platter straight away. But yeah, lovely setting, lovely food, lovely drinks. Cheers. Here go once more. Cheers. <laughs>Well, just one night here. It was beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. And we love the little bar up here, didn't we? Oh, Having that... drinks, watching the sun go down. That made it. Beautiful. And also the castle as well. Yeah, it's up to the castle, isn't it? And it's beautiful. The actual town is stunning. I'd love to spend more time. But because the... it was getting quite late, it was going to get dark early. So I wanted to get back on that road and back here. Right, this road looks a little bit wider than the one we came down. Yeah. I think it's a one way again. see one of Italy's best kept secrets which is the free apparently thermal spa baths. The site is about a kilometer from the actual thermal spring. There is a bus that comes every hour I think it's um, three euros to get the bus over there but we're walking. It's really 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 hot. There's no breeze. So on a day when you go into a hot spring, 37 degrees C. What do you need? 24 degrees of heat from the sun. <laughs> Not complain about the sunshine, that's me. No, we've got two weeks maximum left of sunshine before we hit the English cold weather. Yeah. So we're making the most of it. Definitely. So it's taken us about 15 minutes from the site where the motorhome's parked to get here. Obviously, oh, there is showers here. Oh, that's good because you can definitely tell the people that haven't used them. Stink of sulfur <laughs> and yeah, oh, beer. Yes, yeah, that's a nice bar. Oh, perfect. Things are looking up already. Oh, look, there they are. You can see this is a thermal spring, and there is Andy. Walking very weird. I'm not sure about the walk. It's super slippy. Uh, there must be so many broken ankles here. It's super slippy. Yeah. And when you get close to the waterfalls, you actually can hardly breathe through the fumes. It is better there. Yeah. It's just better there because the water's warmer. Well, time for beers. And I brought a surprise for Michelle. It's like, it's like a cheesecake, maybe. Yeah, it's Oh, let's just go in now. Oh, it's got... Oh, it's actually hot. Oh, it's pineapple. Proper pineapple. Spa done. So let's go for a really quick ride up there and see what Saturni looks like. Yeah.
so it's not on air as such. Yeah. And he's been busy in the kitchen doing his favourite ever meal. And if you're in Italy, you have to have... Spaghetti carbonara. Spaghetti carbonara. Now, I've been trying to perfect the recipe. I thought I perfected it in the UK, but I've been watching them do it here and what it looks like, and I've uh, changed it slightly. Oh. I did a bit of extra cook afterwards, and it makes the uh, the egg a bit more solid. Yeah, so, I've noticed. So let's... Uh, Get the wine poured as well. Look, we've still got non-Italian wine. New Zealand today. <laughs> a bit of Oyster Bay. Ladies first. Is that why you went for yourself first? I'm on camera. <laughs> <laughs> what a great end to a day and you no longer smell oh, of sulphur. Cheers, babe. We're leaving the campsite now and should be coming around the corner any minute. It's been really good here actually. I think it works out about 18 euros. Here comes Andy. So that was 17 euros. Just, there we go. When I rode down here this morning to take the the drone shots, you could see mist all along that river there. Ah, so you knew exactly where the river flowed see. everywhere around here because you just see mist rising from it. It was, it was brilliant. You get out of it all right. Yeah. <laughs> so there we see the thermal spa and up there is where the campsite is. So, not too far to walk down to it. Fantastic. We're in Greco. Grisetto. Oh, Grisetto. <laughs> Uh, and now we've decided to head to Florence. Florence, beautiful Florence. Just under two hours away. So we're heading to a campsite found on, was it search sites? Quite expensive, I think it's got a pool, which we're not that bothered about, but it's really close to, in proximity to the actual town. You can get a bus from here for somebody said on there but we're going to cycle into the town and maybe tomorrow we'll take the public transport and go over there it's very commercialized isn't it it's very yes. clean apparently. we're here just for the location yeah really to be 
be this close to Florence, I think that's not a bad deal, is it? Good size pitch. Could actually do with the awning out right now because it's so hot, but we're gonna get on the bikes in a minute. So, um, quick bit of lunch and then we're going. In the supermarket today there's a machine where you can press a button and fill this not with uh, orange juice but with red wine or white wine so i went for it and uh, this works out at one pound 30 a bottle what do you think i'm gonna give it a go i'm not being the guinea pig oh it's got a little bit of body to it little yeah it's uh, it's tearing up the glass it's A little bit, a little bit of uh, vinegar over jaws, but oh gosh, no, actually, that's really quaffable. Is it actually? It's all right, it's pretty much like the house wines we've been getting. Yeah, when we've been out. That's all right, then one pound thirty. That's it now, no more expensive wine for you whilst we're here. What the. This is Heidi High. Morning, campers. I don't know, I've woken out of my slumber, babe. It's to a, just to, so you can acknowledge it. There we go. Right. Oh, there we go. What time is it? Is it eight o'clock? Is that why they're playing that? Ten past eight. It's been going for ten minutes, actually. First bus was full. We've just seen the next one pulling in, so we're off now into Florence. Yep. We've downloaded one of the city walking tours, so we're going to follow that. Uh, just got to find the start of it first. I've been dropped off in Quite the centre of Florence. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a little way from it, but these steps look grand in themselves, so I'm sure he's dropped us off at a good place to be. Do you reckon? Spotted people walking up there. I'm gonna see if we can get up. So we're almost at the height of the tower anyway, so just by walking up here, which is on our route, we've saved ourselves 12 euros. Ice cream that I pay for. <laughs> Probably just the one ice cream. Probably. <laughs> so reach the top. There's the attraction. Michelangelo. The next attraction, we're using this app called GPS My City because the, the walking tour was uh, 
it's not we we're too late to get on it yesterday uh, and actually it's proven really good so far isn't it yeah gives you step by step directions to each attraction and lots of details about it when you get there So this is interesting, it looks like, well, was it uh, originally up there, it's been placed down here, or is that the way it's supposed to be? It's a singer, and a singer maybe? Yeah. We're looking for Carlo Colud, I think his name is, famed Pinocchio. We haven't found him yet. This place is absolutely huge. I've actually lost Michelle. It's got to be one of the most beautiful tombstones I've ever seen. Oh, there she is. Maria and Mario, born in around well, 1922 and 1919, and both died around 1945. So it looks like they died in the war. And this is probably the age they were when they died. So sad. So we found where the writer of Pinocchio is buried. This is the family tomb, Capello Lorenzini. And you can see on the door, loyal fans leave little gifts and flowers here. We found him. Good find, babe. Because <laughs> this wasn't... Uh, mapped out anywhere was it and this place is absolutely huge I'm impressed a new one every year from our holidays it's not quite a decoration but because we went and saw the tomb of where Pinocchio the writer was he's gonna go on my Christmas tree does this mean we don't need to walk in any more Christmas shops no, the rest of the year no that not at all but it just means I've got my very cheap it's only three euros <laughs> instead of like 10 or 11 ball ball <laughs> the next attraction on our walking tour this place is one huge museum. 16 euros. Oh, that's not bad, is it? For a full ticket. The stones on this building are absolutely huge. Oh! <laughs> Watch the step. Napoleon's bathroom. These paintings are colossal. It's about six meters, five or six meters long. It just gets grander and grander. Hmm? Make sure they don't see video. You're not that's video. And so to the gardens.
This place is mighty impressive. Amazing bird from the man's head. Clearly he's trying to hide the other man's bits. It's very good of him. I think it's in front of you, babe. Oh. That's amazing. That's huge. Three sizes of ears. This is the largest, the grand. I can kind of work it out though because I've seen a lot of the statues around here and their understanding of uh, <laughs> things are quite small in, in Michelangelo's world. And I've had to have a glass. I've had to have a glass of wine because a large latte macchiata, which is just a normal latte, eight euros. A glass of wine, five fifty. It's a no-brainer, isn't it, really? You can't come to Italy and not have a gelato. We've got fruity berry, melon, and some sort of caramel. We've got two spoons. It's only going in twice though. Made it back on the shuttle. We ding on the first one because everybody barged in front of us. And we're back. There's a bar green cafeteria thing there, I've never noticed that before. What do we have here? Lasagna and peas. I didn't really make the lasagna, I just shoved it in the uh, Ramoska. <laughs> Pish bash bosh, 40 minutes, looking good. It looks good. And also, we've got, well, we've got Oyster Bay on the go. It's about £10 a bottle. <laughs> and we've got uh, Supermarket, pour your own, for £1.30 a bottle. And actually, the white is good as well as the red. Still think I'm winning. 